Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in London and I'm going to review the top rated Hilton Hotel in the city. Just a few weeks ago I stayed at the lowest rated Hilton so it seemed like it would be a great idea to return and compare it to the best. The Hampton I'm staying at today boasts 5 star reviews and is ranked on TripAdvisor right at the very top in 12th place out of over 1,000 hotels in the whole of London. Now this is really impressive, especially considering most top 20 hotels are luxurious 5 star giants like the Shard and Claridge's that can cost up to a thousand pounds per night. So why is this Hampton at around hundred pounds per night so highly rated? Maybe it's the amazing waffle maker. I mean, who doesn't love making their own waffles for breakfast? Well, sit back, relax, and let's head inside and get the camera rolling to find out why this hotel is one of London's highest rated. So as we head inside and take a look around the lobby, let's talk about the location of the Hampton by Hilton London City. Conveniently situated in the heart of the city, it's just a short walk from the iconic Tower Bridge and the vibrant Spitalfields Market. The closest underground station is Aldgate East and it's just around the corner from the hotel with direct access to the district, Hammersmith and City lines exploring all that London has to offer as a breeze. As soon as you step inside the lobby, you're greeted by a bright modern space designed with comfort and style in mind. The lobby features sleek furnishings and a vibrant colour palette with plenty of cosy seating areas perfect for relaxing or catching up on work. To the left of the entrance, you'll find the reception desk. There's also a snack bar offering refreshments and quick bites. Overall, I felt the lobby set the tone for a very pleasant arrival. I was quickly checked in and given room 327 which was on the third floor. Now there's a busy road in front of the hotel so as a light sleeper I wondered if I'd hear any noise from the street below. On exiting the lift I noticed that the hotel corridors were all very nicely painted and the carpets felt fresh throughout so I was eager to open my door and find out what room 327 was going to be like. I was genuinely impressed by my room at the Hampton by Hilton London City. It was beautifully appointed with quirky artwork hanging on the walls and a comfortable corner sofa providing a nice place to sit and relax. The lighting was very thoughtfully designed, it created a cosy ambience throughout. All of the furniture in the room felt really high quality and on top of the sideboard there was a kettle and all the essential brew making equipment and in one drawer there was the all important hairdryer and in another an iron. There was also an empty fridge which seemed brand new and that was in the bottom cupboard. Just next to the doorway into the room there was an open wardrobe with about five hangers and tucked just behind it there was an ironing board. Now the bathroom felt modern and well designed again with excellent lighting. There was a large mirror with LED lights and the sink and taps were really high quality. Above the sink there was spa therapy hand soap and body lotion. Below it there were some large towels and a bin. The tiling and sealant application was really well done and while this isn't what I'd call ultra luxurious, the space just felt really modern and for the price point that I'd paid, I thought it was excellent. The shower was really spacious with both a rainfall head from the ceiling and an adjustable regular shower head that you could move around the enclosure. Everything in the shower felt brand new, although all the rooms come with showers instead of baths, the bathroom was exceptionally functional and stylish offering a modern and refreshing experience. The gym is conveniently located on the ground floor of the hotel, accessible with your room key card. Upon entering, it felt like a great place for a workout session, with all the equipment appearing brand new. The space is well organized, featuring benches and a range of hand weights, along with a state-of-the-art kinesis machine. There's another section equipped with foam rollers, kettlebells and medicine balls which would be perfect for loads of different workouts. Additionally, the gym boasts an array of cardio machines including several exercise bikes, a peloton and numerous treadmills. I had a really tough debate with myself about getting a workout in but decided to do the right thing and head to the bar for a pint. After my pint, I headed outside. I went for a walk around the local area. There were loads of restaurants and bars within walking distance of the hotel, and the area, although very busy, felt really safe. Hi guys, right, so I'm just checking in with you before I go to sleep and turn the lights off. The air conditioning is really quiet and the bed looks really comfortable. 
So I'm hopefully gonna have a really nice night's sleep. So yeah, night night and see you in the morning. The next day. My favorite part of any hotel stay is always breakfast. And the best part about the Hampton London City breakfast is that it's completely free for all guests. There is no extra charge. Now in this day and age with hotels increasing prices and charging for everything, this is a great thing. So well done Hampton. Breakfast was served in the lobby area it did get quite busy at times, but there was more than enough seating available for all guests. As you can see, there were loads of different sections offering a variety of choices, from cold options like cheese and yogurt, to a hot section including bacon, sausage, and all the English breakfast staples. I went for the full English breakfast and really enjoyed it. Once I polished that off, I got sucked in like a hungry bee on a warm day, buzzing around for pollen, but in my case, it was the irresistible aroma of the waffle machine. It drew me in. There was a pre-made batter dispenser next to the machine, so I gave it a go. It took about three minutes to make your waffle, and the pressure was building as there was a queue behind me, with other guests now watching to see how it turned out. And to be honest, I don't think I did a bad job. I then added loads of chocolate sauce and topped it with marshmallows and Smarties chocolates to end my breakfast on a very high note. So to quickly sum up, even though my stay was short, it felt really sweet. The room cost me £110 for the night, which I found to be an incredible bargain for a stay in a modern hotel with free breakfast included right here in the city. It's easy to see why this hotel receives such high ratings. I definitely recommend it for future visits to London, especially if you're looking to save money, but still stay somewhere really nice. Just a little tip for visiting London, staying over the weekend is usually much cheaper than during the week due to the high demand from the business and corporate sectors. And just to note, my new passport has arrived, so next week I'll be back at 35,000 feet and I have something really good lined up. So thank you all for watching and hopefully see you next week at 7pm.